Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. In the last episode, we came here to Sanctuary, a Cerberus base posing as a refugee grounds, but it's actually the grounds of a massive... Ooh, bugger me, we're starting straight into here. Uh, the grounds of a massive kind of testing and experimental operation in which the... In which the uh, Cerberus are trying to work out how Reaper indoctrination works, and how... Reapers maintain control on the on, on on their kind of ground forces. We figured out that Miranda's father is working with the elusive man to to try and work all this out, and we know they've done pretty well at at figuring out how that how that Reaper system works. Unfortunately, bloody barrier engines. There we go. We'll take that one out at least. It's annoying that when a barrier engine goes down, the the, the barriers that it put up still remains, which is infuriating. Let's get. To uh, Liara back up, because she's in a bad way. And let's have a good shot at one of these. We need to take a- oh! Whoops. <laughs> uh, well, oh, he's, he's dead anyway, brilliant. Uh, so I was going to say that the Ravagers are the real problem there. But, we have cleared that up a little bit. Oh, there's a couple of these spore pods which just release, um, thingies here. Oh! What's she shooting at? Is there a dude down here? Oh, there's definitely a dude down here! Now let's slam him. Oh, do love that biotic explosion. That must have been a Ravager I had not noticed. Let's try that again. <laughs> you see that Marauder go flying through the air? Oh, the Cannibal even go flying through the air over there. That looked very funny. Oh, there's Cannibals crawling out from under here. Great. Right, let's... Oh, let's disappear. Oh. Never forget the incredible effectiveness of the Talon plus the Tactical Cloak for just being able to... Ah, that's the one that got me last time. That's... Note that Ravager that suddenly appeared from down the side there. Let's do him in. Oh, God. Uh, Javelin plus Tactical Cloak does a hell of a lot to them. And so it's a real nice combination. I think now we are actually clear here. Oh, there's just a Swarmer on the floor. We can ignore that. Uh, is there anything else of you? Ooh, that's one acid. Anything of you? See a gestation pump? Oh, let's ignore those, but, but there we go. Yes, we got the experience, which usually means we're getting towards done. Wonderful! I will take that medical station as well. Now! We have underestimated the strength of the Reaper signal. They are here. The Reapers somehow know what we've learned about them. They have a weakness. I'm compiling our research data to archive before it's too late. Cerberus sent troops to defend the facility against the Reapers. Yeah, Cerberus also sent Kylane to get that research data out, we know. Because um, I think that's that's what the elusive man is after here, is just making sure he gets that data. Because um, that's all that ever mattered to him. This will get us closer to the tower. Right, so we've got this kind of lift thing we're standing on top of here, and if we blow its control panel... Come along. There we go, that took a while. Now, prepare for a tough fight here. I'm gonna ammo up and make sure everyone is ready to roll. I'm actually gonna heal up, even just for that one tiny thing. Tiny thing, it is worth it. Because, you'll notice there's a brute up there. And, if you heard that correctly, that's a Banshee drop again. I recommend as much as you can here keeping your distance. Um, I'm going to try and be a little careful. Right, we've got a brute here. Basically, there's the potential for a lot... Bugger! God, with Tactical Cloak and, and, and um, the Javelin, that was absurdly powerful. Can I do that again, then? Let's try that. The headshot was particularly nice. Oh, not quite as good, but still bloody not. Oh, don't get it. Get away from me. Uh, let's warp him. Basically, yeah, really don't move up here unless you absolutely have to, have to. Otherwise, you will end up facing a lot of things simultaneously. I hear a banshee now. Um, yeah, basically, you want to be able to take these down one by one rather than facing four brutes and a banshee all at the same time. Potentially two banshees. It's kind of random how they spawn. Right, there's the banshee. So let's try and take her out. Oh, whole barrier down in one. That is what we like to see. All right, let's hit it with everything we've got. Uh, Warper. Oh, she sent her bolts towards me. I can dodge that. Yep. All right, let's get her. See, banshees are fine as long as you keep them. Like banshees and brutes are all fine as long as you keep them at range. And this fight is a really fucking. 
Hopefully that's just that one dying rather than a new one being born. Um, but yes, um, that fight is fine as long as you keep everyone at a distance, but you can really be fucked by not doing that. There's some uh, one of the easiest things to miss in the game here, uh, but don't do it because it's very useful. Uh, on the left here, we have this console, which says pod status, active, eight. And it says pod one, foreign material present, pod two, foreign pod integrity compromised, and pod three, subject deactivated. If we press B, pod, manual override, that does a thing. Not clear what that did. Head all the way back to this, the beginning of this corridor. And your pod has now been opened, and the foreign material inside it is... The M99 Sabre. Very easy to miss, and that's a very cool weapon. It's basically a assault rifle, sniper rifle kind of combo. It fires in single like bursts, and it's deeply satisfying, and I'll be using it a bit next episode. Don't you what Well, not next episode, but next couple of episodes. Um, with that... Time to go up to the top of the tower and confront Henry Lawson. Let's roll. Get ready! Shepard. A commander ah! Shepard. Excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. What exactly do you think you've created here? Hope. Few people have the stomach to do what it takes to survive. What we learned here will save countless lives. I will be seen as the savior of the human race. I doubt that. A lot of very different options here. I'll go through what happens for all of them at the end, because there's a lot of different ways this can play out. But I'm going to, of course, take the charm route. I have no problem with you. I just want Oriana and the research data. You want a lot. You get your life in return. How much is that worth? All right. Take her. <clears throat> but I want out alive. Deal? Ah! No deal. Did he hurt you? Are you all right? It's okay, Ori. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Commander Shepard. Fancy meeting you here. We caught a break. You all right? I'll be fine. Really. I don't know how you managed it. But I'm grateful you're here. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. <sighs> Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up. And Kai Leng. You survived. Not many people could do that. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. Miranda, this whole thing was a huge risk. You should have told me. You have a war to win, Shepard. This was my fight. It's been a long time coming. You did it. It's over. Yes. I just wish my sister didn't have to see all this. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. We can stop running. Yes, you can. What's our status? Any intel we can use from this place? The research data's gone. But there's basic facility information. Shuttle arrivals and departures. 
Cerberus included. No direct links, but it's a good start. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Ling took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. Tracer? Sounds like you thought of everything. <sighs> Not quite, but... <sighs> Nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is exactly what we need. <sighs> Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. I gotta follow all this up. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. I hope so. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Cortez, by Cortez, we father, need to pick up Henry at the Dawson. tower. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. So, we now have Priority Cerberus Headquarters. Um, that is a bit of a point of no return to the game, and the game will tell you as such when you're starting that mission. Uh, so, I want to get everything wrapped up before then, uh, which actually is just one or two more side missions now, really not much, and the Leviathan DLC, the only DLC I'm doing before the end of the game, uh, which I recommend doing at roughly this point, uh, and I'll go through why in the thing, but... But don't start Cerberus Headquarters until you're basically ready to play through to the end of the game uh, with with no a, a extra opportunity to explore, because everything basically goes and becomes inaccessible then, for various reasons. That confrontation at the end with Miranda's father, firstly, deeply satisfying. Uh, Henry Lawson was always high on, if not top, of Mass Effect 2's Dad of the Year awards, and, and he just really hammers it home with the kind of research he's doing there on, on refugees in Sanctuary. Um... As for how that confrontation can go down, if you say, I just want Oriana, you don't have the charm or intimidate options. You don't need her. Let her go, and you can walk out of here. She's all I've got left. Everything else is gone. Now put down the gun and step aside. Oriana has already been through enough. Let me go! Oriana! Oh. <laughs> what? Miranda. Oh my god. Miranda, can you hear me? Shepard. You... You can finish this. Damn it. Miranda! Shepard. What's our status? Anything we can use from this place? And that actually gives you a bit of a harder time on the next mission, because Miranda's not there to offer you the intel, so all you get as in tell you where Cerberus is exactly, so you have to do it from, from the shuttle logs and stuff like that that Liara had shown, uh, and which then leads to this slightly different conversation with Admiral Hackett. Did we gather anything useful from the data we grabbed on Sanctuary? Yes, it narrowed down our search considerably. It wasn't easy. But we found the elusive man. The search must have gotten his attention. You're right. We lost the element of surprise. It's going to be a fight. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. 
And you'll have noticed, though, in that first scene, uh, the Just Want Oriana one, there was a Renegade option interrupt, which I didn't take. If you take it... Now put down the gun and step aside. Oriana has already been through enough. Oh! Shepard! Oh! Are you all right? I'm so sorry this happened. It's okay, Ori. You're safe now. So getting that interrupt allows Miranda to, to survive. Uh, finally... Though it has the same outcome, the Intimidate option, uh, compared to the Charm I took, plays out this way. You try to leave with her, you die. Let her go and maybe you walk. I've done nothing to you. This isn't about you and me. Let her go and walk away. I won't say it again. All right, take her. <laughs> but I want out alive. Deal. So that's the different ways in which it can literally resolve at the end from there. Miranda's death is somewhat related to that, but somewhat not. If you choose just want Oriana and don't do the interrupt, Miranda will always die. Um, but there are many other things which can kill Miranda. If you didn't... You have to warn her about Kyle. So, you had to read the dossier that's... Um, that's Admiral, not Admiral, yes, Admiral, Admiral Anderson sends along on Kai Lang after uh, Priority of the Citadel 2, the, the Cerberus attack. If you do not send that along to Miranda, if you do not read that before you converse with Miranda on the Citadel, then she will die there. She won't be prepared for Kai Lang and will just be killed by him and won't even be in that final conversation with Henry, Henry Lawson. If she was denied, if basically she asked for Alliance resources as well, if you deny her those, she will also um, be killed during that scene. Uh, as in before that scene and won't be there. In that scene, no matter how it goes down, you notice she kind of got shot there. She will die from that hit if she was... If you didn't get her loyalty in Mass Effect 2. Or if in Romance... If you... This is a very specific one. If you romanced her in Mass Effect 2 and then dumped her in Mass Effect 3. That means you actually actively had to have the conversation with her. Hey, what are we doing? And then say, sorry, I can't do this right now. If you romance her in Mass Effect 2 and then just don't bring it up one way or the other in Mass Effect 3... You're fine. Uh, you have to actively dump her, <laughs> which is an odd, odd prerequisite. But there we go. So we're just going to end up this episode here with conversations around the Normandy. Commander, it seems Tally's taking what happened on Horizon hard. She's in the lounge. If you want to check on her. The Alliance has issued warnings about Sanctuary. Cerberus bastards. Horizon was my home. Just tell me you're going to take Cerberus down. Cerberus is already dead. They just don't know it yet. And when their base is nothing but a smoking crater, remember that you're the one who helped us find them. Thanks. Next up, we have the classic emails. Um, we have Lee Riley continues defending the fuel reactor on Sion. Exciting. And the, the Quarian fleet, Palavan, the Turian hierarchy, one of the most powerful and respected ground forces in the galaxy, are today paying respects to an unlikely ally, the Marines of the Quarian fleet. The weakened immune systems of Quarians normally means that their forces are restricted to ships, but when an emergency technical team was required to wear a ground, repair a ground-based comm relay providing vital intel to the Turian military, one Quarian squad stepped up. Commanded by squad leader Carl Rieger from Mass Effect 2, the Quarian team repaired the comm system and then sacrificed their lives holding the position until Krogan troops arrived. When Turian troops offered to provide evac support, Riga refused, insisting they could not risk the relay failing. He said uh, multiple breaches of their exosuits made evacuation impossible. We're all dead anyway, Riga reportedly said. Just make them pay for it. A spokesman for Primarch Victors pra praised the squad's bravery. Whatever our past politics, today the galaxy stands together against a single threat. Victor said, We are humbled by the sacrifice from our allies from Rannick, and we promise to return the honour. Next, let's go up to the cockpit. Joker, you asked for news about the human colony, Tiptree. Hey, Liara, you don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tiptree landing on Solarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. Well, Gunny, um, Hillary, my sister, G Gunny's the nickname. She's had it since, uh, she's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only lost my dad. Kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff, 
Right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. You too. Nice work shutting that place down. Is Miranda okay? She will be. Even for Cerberus, that place was crazy. They've always been about the ends justifying the means. But how do you do that to innocent people and tell yourself you're helping humanity? I don't know how the elusive man can stand looking at himself in the mirror. Honestly, I've been wondering about that for a while with those freaky eyes. Whatever he's thinking, he won't be thinking it for much longer. You're damn right, Commander. Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Have fun. What is it now? News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed, but I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. Some prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives, to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. It's not just about living till tomorrow. Sometimes you take a stand. But the probability of success was near zero. And ultimately, they failed. No prisoners escaped. Are you saying submission is preferable to extinction? My primary function is to preserve and defend the... No. No, I disagree. Shepard, I'm going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? Because the Reapers are repulsive. They are devoted to nothing but self-preservation. I am different. When I think of Jeff, I think of the person that put his life in peril and freed me from a state of servitude. I would risk non-functionality for him. And my core programming should reflect that. Sounds like you found a little humanity, Edie. Is it worth defending? To the death. Welcome to the crew, Edie. How's it going? Did I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. I always do like those chats with ED, um, <laughs> the what is love chats, but that one particularly is quite a good one because it really reflects the fact that ED can rewrite her programmer. He, she can basically just determine what her values are and, and, cha and change and reprioritize them as necessary. And I really like that she chooses to do that there. She's like, you know, it's not just about survival. Sometimes it's about protecting other people and so that and can kind of just reflect that in her core is, is really cool. Uh, anyway, next up, let's have a chat with Ashley. Can't believe what you found down there. The whole thing was so calculated, using hope to lure people to their deaths, or worse. I can't understand it. And you know, I'm glad I can't. It makes me feel human. Just wondering what the refugees do now. I thought I'd heard of everything. Man, hard to believe what was down there. Now, we were told by Trainer that Tally is taking it particularly rough. So, she is here by the bar. Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. How are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? with her perfect genes and that attitude and and still she got it done she stopped her father 
I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Ah. Uh. Don't ah uh, me. You sound like a vulture. Seeing a bit of yourself in Miranda fighting her father? I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes, doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. Port. You know. Here's to Miranda. Nice job, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kila Solai. I do quite like that scene. Um, if only for, uh, amongst other things, it, it concludes in some ways, or at least it addresses the, the Mass Effect 2 Dad of the Year contests. Um, and, and, and I think in the long term, Henry Lawson probably does win out on that. I mean, Thane's dead, so he can't really take part anymore. Uh, Jacob's dad, and we see or hear nothing from him. Uh, Rail Zora, also dead. Um, and, and, and Henry Lawson now also dead. So, you know, I guess that's good. Um, that a lot of, most of them are dead. Uh, hmm, maybe. Uh, <laughs> either way, let's go and speak to Garrus. So the elusive man really believes he can control Reapers. Husks are one thing, but a whole fleet? The man is insane. A lot of Turians went to Sanctuary. When I meet the elusive man, I'm going to carve their names into his skull. With you on that one, my boy. Next up, Liara. How's Miranda? She'll make a recovery. I'm not surprised. Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. I'm glad she made it. Driven is certainly one word for it. Uh, finally on this level, let's talk to Dr. Chakwas. So, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. It's nice to have Tally back. I've made sure we're well stocked with dextro-based antibiotics and antihistamines. Right, uh, let's head down to engineering. Breaking now, Alliance Marines uncover the worst Cerberus war crimes to date. Sanctuary, advertised as a safe haven on the planet Horizon, exposed as a secret Cerberus lab. Brainwashing, lethal experiments, and Reaper connections, the exclusive details next in the battle space. I talked with Williams. Between the 212, Horizon, and the Council's other guards, it's like death just follows her around. Yeah, in fairness, she's had a pretty rough one. Uh, <laughs> Finally, let's go and talk to... Well, not finally for this floor, I suppose. Let's go and talk to Javik. I heard about your talk with Liara. You act so angry. But you really care about us. I need you functional to destroy the Reapers. You care about Liara. You like her. You are intoxicated. A foolish risk given Quarian symbiotic physiology. And you like me, too. This conversation is over. Classic Javik. Uh, <laughs> finally, let's head down to the shuttle bay. And first off, Cortez. Just got word from Ms. Sato. She arrived at the Alliance Research Facility safe and sound. Yeah, and Esteban got to play hero with the damsel in distress. You know me and my damsels, Mr. Vega? That I do. <laughs> uh, there, Miss Sutter was the engineer from the N7 communications hub uh, mission a couple of episodes ago. Finally, James. I can't believe the elusive man really found a way to control the Reapers. I mean, he's still fucking crazy, but damn. Imagine if he was on our side. But I guess that's exactly what the Reapers want. Get us all fighting each other. Divide and conquer. Exactly just one more reason to hate them. Come to think of it, I don't think there are that many F-bombs in this game, but there's one of them. Sure would have liked to visit Thessia before the war. Imagine a whole world of those blue beauties. 
One of the wonders of the galaxy, if you ask me. No one asked you. You want to hit Cerberus where it hurts? I'm with you. Indeed, but that won't be yet. Next episode, we are going to be starting off with the Leviathan DLC. It's a really interesting one. I don't really want to say anything about it, other than it has a lot of interesting lore around the Reapers, uh, and fleshes that out. It annoys me because it should have been part of the main game. It absolutely should not have been DLC, because it's pretty much required uh, for really making the story make sense. Uh, but we will be doing that next episode. I hope you'll join me then. Thank you very much, and good day.